Hey, Josh Torres. What's up, Zach Reese? Hey, what do you feel about high school girls? Um, they're cool, I guess. Great. I mean, How do you feel about Battle Girl High School? That they're slightly better. I feel slightly better about high school girls if they're battling. Yes, they're battling monsters and aliens and all kinds of stuff. This is Battle Girl High School. This is a Japanese-only free-to-play mobile game that I have sunk a lot of time into. And so, yeah, I, I keep hearing about this from you. I don't know what kind of unholy vortex you've gotten yourself into. So, <laughs> it's, What is this? It's a game that is completely in Japanese. If you haven't seen it already, there's a lot of Japanese text on the screen. So I know next to no Japanese whatsoever. Fantastic. That's arguably the only way to play Japanese games. Well, I'm, I'm here to explain how highly accessible this game is because of that. So as you can see, this is a classroom of girls, high school girls that I am teaching. I'm the senpai. Uh -huh. and so here is so you're one the, of the... Okay, so you're the teacher? Yes, I am the teacher. Okay. And this is right. Hanukkah, and she is wearing a Christmas outfit, as in there was a... Christmas event that happened where I could uh, get this certain version. As you can see, here's a card. I've already leveled her up to 50. Uh, why I say Hanukkah? It's Miki is actually her name. And so like, I got all these different characters. These are a bunch of cards that you can unlock. I'm going to show how this game is super accessible to anybody and they can join and play at any time without knowing any Japanese. So here's her stats. Um, you actually level up. Uh, their affection towards you and that unlocks different stats that you can see it, it no, means nothing absolutely nothing except for the people that want to know about it great it's, yeah. i guess like you'd say sort of like an rpg maybe it, it is totally an rpg and what you saw there was just some of the story stuff you can unlock just by leveling up their affection once again and so there's a ton of story in this game you can see what's the story uh, a bunch of girls that are hired to fight monsters that are basically threatening mankind, I guess. I don't know the story. You're asking me questions. <laughs> As you see, I gave her a present, so her affection went up for me. She, well, what's the benefit of uh, raising their affection for you? That's that's pretty much you get to see like certain um, their specifications, their specs, their uh, sizes, their blood type, all stuff that you know is very key to the Japanese culture for knowing how compatible you are with a certain girl. It's uh, uh, important to, you know, you need to know these things before you go fight off aliens, right? You do. I mean, that's probably the only tangible benefit in Tired to always their affection, because other than that, and you are different What are you costumes. doing? I change you... your costume. You can uh -huh. change their outfits, because uh, over time you can get these different costumes, whether through uh, battles that you do or through the gacha system that we'll see a little bit later. I'm okay. going to keep her in her Christmas outfit for now, because it looks kind of nice. But, I don't know. She's kind of looks like she's not too thrilled about that. No, she, that's the thing is that the great part of this game is that there's so much. Not only is there a lot of story, but a lot of it is voiced, and so that's a, a big appeal. So um, I've sent these two out to the track to okay. be dancing around. That's a one way I, to like grant like level up their rank levels and get them experience. They're done, as you can see with the yellow spark. I, I mean, why else would you go out to the track? You know. Yes, and so. Uh, that's the kind of thing. It's kind of funny because they're dancing around, but they've also got certain like costume-specific special um, uh, right. uh, things that they can do. As you can see, there's, there's so many hours that you can make them do these different things. It's all about waiting and seeing. So here, this is a Valentine's Day special. Okay. <laughs> nice. She gave you chocolates. She gave me chocolates. And now you're going to hear them say the same thing over and over. And so she's done. She's one of my newest um, students that I've gotten. She's kind of a robot, robot girl kind of thing. Fantastic. <laughs> it's and So you can see like 10 minutes, an hour, four hours, eight hours. Um, that's so kind of you. Sort of like, is there some sort of like, like, uh, like day cycle, day night cycle in this game? They do do different things. She's calling me Oni-chan. And so um, they all uh, sp they spend time doing this stuff. Now, going back to the classroom, that obviously um, uh, time goes by and they do different things. But here, uh, there is different challenges that you can do to unlock to get, like right. as you can see, experience bonuses to level up characters. Uh, they all have certain caps on the levels, uh, depending on the card itself. But a lot of it seems to be fit level 50. I think some of them are level 60. And there's a, these are all the other challenges you can get. So I just um, a lot of it has to tie it into like the number of times you make someone do a certain um, exercise activity. And she keeps falling asleep. Wake up. I. Oh. Why would you wait? That's terrible. Just and let her have her rest. She, she had a long day. I am sick and tired of these kids not paying attention in class. I'm going to teach them something. Uh, so. 
there is a lot of stuff to do in this game, um, but here is the okay. different cla uh, rooms that they get, like dorm rooms, and so you can unlock these over time. Um, and what so kind of dorm rooms are we talking about? Or like, just like, like, do they do any activities in there? Any sort of like, nope. <laughs> stuff? Honestly, I don't know the real benefit. Now, I'm, I haven't read any guides. I haven't looked up any sort of like forums and stuff like that. This is all going yeah. off of my, as I said, very extremely limited knowledge of Japanese, mm -hmm. uh, just from just kind of you know understanding what is exact, exactly is going on, which I've kind of been able to do over time playing import games. So these are different um, items that you can unlock. Oh, so you can like customize their their, their room. Exactly. Once uh, again, okay. I don't Ooh. know the benefit from that, but I'm gonna just go ahead and put this radio on the floor because I'm sure that's exactly where radios that's, go. <laughs> that's how where my radio was. <laughs> yes, and so there's different things you can. Once again, you um, a lot of this comes around different um, special events. You can unlock wallpaper, as you can see here. Uh, there's also, like you see, couches, chairs, tables. This looks like a really comfy room. Yes, it's uh, a very... Maybe, that, maybe that's the actual benefit in itself. It's not for like any in-game bonus, it's just, it's just nice to look at. Yeah, and I've yet to see any beds, and so I'm, I'm thinking that she just sleeps on the couch. I, I don't know, like one of those that's, little that's beds. That's when you know that's definitely a high school dorm bed. <laughs> yeah, so you, you have like wallpaper, you also have like ceiling paper, I guess, is one way to put it. Um, but there's all these different things you can get, and different rooms to unlock. I, like I said, I don't know what the real benefit to that is, but here is also right. different story events. Now there's tons of chapters. I think someone's like there's like 40 or 50 chapters. Um, these different cha uh, story events you can do unlock gems, which are used for as currency for the gotcha system, among other things. And these are all the special events. As you can see, that five out of five thing on the top right. That is the only thing I have seen so far that makes this seem like a free-to-play game, aside from like the time events for the exercise activities. Otherwise, you can do pretty much um, these different events as long as you want, and there's no oh, there's sort of like stamina of, like, system. Like, yeah. yeah, I was going to ask about that. Oh, interesting. Okay. It's great. And so, and there's these different parties at the top that you can cycle through. Um, you get to customize the parties. I think there's only like four or five different types of parties, but you can just rearrange them how you want. Um, and they all have their own. You can see up there like a sword, a gun, up on the next to, under their models and stuff like that. Uh, they do, uh, they carry different weapons that are tied into their cards. There's all those items that you saw under there that I was tapping on um, that give you like bonuses for treasure that drops from enemies and currency and experience that you can get. You get that. that's limited as well. So after five of those, you run out. But once again, no stamina system. So you just can wait until those restock uh, and do it again if you want, or just you know, deal with the story and move on with your life. So that's pretty So is there like a strength weakness system uh, going on here? Yes. Um, certain monsters are weak to certain weapons, so it's important to have um, uh, characters that carry around different ones. I didn't really bring a good variety of characters with me, I guess, right. in this battle. Let's but check this out. Yeah, it's very... <laughs> you can see me screw things up here. So how, how are you attacking these exactly? Like, what's going on with those... So you Elastic tap, things. yeah. Uh -huh. you, you tap as soon as it goes to the center, and so it's very easy to understand like how exactly to play it. Uh, but here you can swap, swatch between, swap between characters that are in your party um, very easily, and the combo can continue. It's the big point to like continue a combo. And then she's just dancing in the middle of battle. All right. Yes, and so so you keep tapping that. You can hear in the background the sound of it continuously going up, and then after you get so many in, it's using up SP. As you can see at the bottom, it goes down. There are. So are you manually moving, or are they are they attacking as they move? They move. Uh, they uh, they move as you attack, but you okay. can manually make the person run around if you need to to say get out of the way of an enemy's attack or um, uh, just get around someone's uh, shield that could be existing. But yes, uh, certain those special moves that you saw uh, are tied to the outfits that they're wearing. So um, there was a special event a couple months ago where they had these costumes that are like pop idol kind of things, and so each character has their own unique. Um, special move that unlocks, and there's like these different boss characters that can come out during the course of these uh, battles. As you can see, I'm dealing like tons of damage. The higher the combo, the better the bonus damage that you can inflict on these enemies. Yeah, and everything is just blowing up all over the place. The more concerts you hold. Exactly, and <laughs> and so yeah, they're producing these little speaker boxes that are producing like area effect damage kind of thing. Um, and as you can see, the oh, enemy yeah. hit me, knocked me out of my combo. The sword is doing some great damage on that. The gun can do well as well, um, can do that kind of damage as well, uh, just because I've leveled up Miki so high. But also, 
if I'm not careful, I might come across an enemy where it just does very, very minimal damage, and I'd be screwed. So what happens like if you have one of your characters like dies in battle or like gets knocked unconscious? They're they're, gone, they're done until the next uh, stage that you do. So you you kind of have to make do with what you got. So yeah, the uh, the characters get experience, and you can see there's certain objectives you have to meet. A lot of it is like getting so many combos, um, or like killing as many enemies, or taking as little time as possible. And then I'll, I got some uh, gems here. There's different ranks from S to F, uh, D, I think, actually. I don't think there's an F, but uh, you get... If you don't do anything better, if you do worse than an S, you only get one one of those three set of crystals. You don't get the two little things that popped up back there. Um, so How many gems does it take to like uh, get a new card? Uh, 25, which we'll see later. And um, as you can see here, there's like a story. There's a lot of story to this game as well. And right. uh, some of it isn't voice, but a lot of it is. Now, the great thing that these developers did... They hired a lot of famous Japanese voice actors and actresses. Oh, I should say Hi. actresses. So a lot of characters that you would probably recognize from other shows. What's going on here, Zach? Why do they look distressed? I think that they went on a field trip or something. This is obviously the continuation of a of a. This is like a very a special event that only lasts the end of the month. Mm -hmm. So you can always go back and watch these story beats. Um, obviously, you can't do the battles themselves, but even like you can go all the way back to ones that happened when this game first came out, which is like around the spring time of last year, uh, and and watch all these stories and just you know enjoy it uh, without having to worry about like not even able to see it ever again if you miss the event during that particular month. So I think they went on to a field trip. They got to hang out in the cabin, uh, tell ghost stories, hit each other with pillows i don't know what high school girls do i don't know it's a mystery yeah they're just crazy these days you never know with them yes and so i don't particularly know who this character is to be honest um i've seen the principal and she's a little girl which will <laughs> which was something of course else. yes but i think she's just one of your um higher ups kind of characters i guess but we'll see but that's a lot of it, and you can see up there, you can uh, change the difficulty. Um, one On easy, you only get one of those uh, gems. On normal, you get three. On hard, I bet you get, I think you get five. And so it's just an easy way to get all of that. And it means you can always go back to like the very beginning and continue on and getting gems. There's so many ways to get these special gems. And, all right. What's yeah. going on here now? So here, this is where you can kind of mix and match your party. Um and so as you can see here, they're all on the bottom. So as I said, you only get like four or five different sets of uh, parties that you can create and, and put together. But you can always change it whenever. So it's you have to go back here in order to do that. How many uh, yeah. of these are like for your starter characters, let's say? So, I mean, like the number of actual students? Mm -hmm, yeah, like what, what do you start out with? Uh, Just three. Uh, you, you get Miki, of course, and the other two girls. Um, I forget their names, but there's like a, a, a kind of a... A class president type of character and this very sporty tomboy girl that the one in the middle that's actually one of the girls that you get at the very beginning and these are the different weapons that you can get um, and so obviously you can re-equip them with other uh, uh, excuse me other weapons you can take it from another character unless you lock it into that person and then you don't have to worry about ever unequipping another person but it's always important that you have to go into battle that way and, and you get new weapons through the gotcha, uh, I assume a separate gotcha? Yes. Uh, okay. I'll also show that a little bit later. And here um, you get to equip a main card and then some supporting cards. So uh, these different supporting cards uh, are ones that are just from different characters, uh, offers you've gotten. They have their own unique benefits such as stat bonuses, also things like health, health regeneration, uh, SP regeneration, all kinds of stuff. And they all different, like, uh, yeah, if you equip a certain card with another person, they have special bonuses as well. So if you can't, if you don't have enough cards for one person, you can tie them together. And these are all the different cards that I've unlocked over time. Oh, man. Okay, important question. How much money have you put into this game? Zero, thankfully. Oh. But because it's so easy to get gems in this game, it's uh, you can you can get 250. As you can see at the top, I have like a lot of money and a lot of gems and things like that. It maybe takes like a day or two to get all that together, or like if you have the time, maybe a few hours of just grinding for gems. Like I said, there's so many ways to get gems. Unless you like completely fill up the story, they are very generous in giving you ways. And this is the place where you can create new weapons um, and um, things like that. So you can see I'm going through all the swords that you can create. They all have obviously higher base damage rates, but of course they use materials that you have to get from battle. 
Um, and, you know, a lot of it comes from like special events and things like that. So it can be pretty difficult to get the necessary resources that you right. need. Uh, but that's kind of the, the benefit. But uh, these are the different uh, weapons that the certain characters have uh, with them. And you can see there, there's different ways to like level up the base level of the, char of the, of the weapons themselves just by putting them up on this higher row. And so, um, are there like any daily challenges that, like, say that, like, award you with more of these uh, materials that are yes. present? Other that one yeah. when we when we saw back there about the five out of five, like that's the free to play system. That's how you get like an easy way to get uh, items, but you can just get them normally through battle. And so here I've leveled up this sword um, just by using some of the items. There's certain items that um, benefit them more than others, and so um, obviously the super rare items are a great way to really max out an, a weapons level. But once they hit the the top level, you can actually combine weapons in with each other and then um, unlock the higher ranks. So each weapon has a, a rank from D to S, I believe. And so you can get all the way to that. Some some of those, and these are all the, uh, the different resources I've gathered over time. Um, a lot of this stuff, uh, you know, weapons that you want to get, so you see A, B, C, S. So Miki has the highest level gun right now. And so it does extra damage as a result of that, although I'm still dealing with something kind of restricted. Are there any, like, some sort of, like, social aspects or online multiplayer with other players in this game? So I'm glad you said that, because this is it. <laughs> so it's actually, this is the online arena. I, can't, I haven't touched any of this, because I feel like if I jumped into that, I'd just get wrecked. <laughs> and so I, I, I just jumped away from that, because it's like, yeah, you can do PvP um, uh, kind of stuff, but I, I barely touched that. And so... Once again, uh, this is oh, kind of fancy. actually, the, this is the next event after the, um, so I'm, I'm getting some of the different gems that I unlocked in that previous battle that I just did, but these are just like um, different cards that you can gather. They're all like movie characters, I guess, not not special specific movie characters, but they're trying to film a movie, and so they have their own special Oh, so they're getting some sort of, this actually getting like a real life like film or anime film kind of like that and, and as you can see there there's like you can use one um you can get one card for 25 or 10 there's a special thing going on until the 17th as of this recording where i can get 10 plus one and then i'm guaranteed at least one special card which is what was being shown and okay so what, what, what's the rarities like like uh, like like this is like a one to five star or one to four so, so four is the best four. that you can get but you can actually put two four two or three four star characters together and then unlock once any you can choose whatever you want so if you got like a bunch of du duplicates um you can just put them together so here i've gotten oh, 11 man. uh they are well, who are they trying to run? They're, They're running going. towards the classroom to introduce themselves, and so we're going to see what oh, I got here. I, I spent 250 gems, so we'll see what happens. So as you can see, great. there's a lot of garbage cards. <laughs> wow! These are high school girls. I'm sorry, I mean, they are garbage. I mean, actually, like, the quality of... Like, I've already gotten all these. <laughs> Unlocked them during the story itself. So we'll see how this goes. So I already got right, that one. Alright, there's three stars. But... Uh, I've never gotten that one, so... Great. There's one of those a special card, Four star. Event, a special event card. This looks like an okay roll. And I've I got an, a, yeah, another special one. What? So why does she get like a special like intro thing? Is that like she always says her oh. name? Ooh, rah, rah. It's 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 like basically the last one in the group. That's all it is. And, okay. and, and obviously right. she's guaranteed. So as you can see there, most of them are not so great. But I gotten I was lucky and got four cards I never had before. So, Zach, are you saying that not all high school girls are created equally? No, in they all have ranks and they have their clicks. I learned this um, sad reality um, uh, based on trying to ask out a girl that was way above my class. And so we'll see. I was more like a one star. Wait, you were trying to ask out a girl in this game? No, 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 no. In real life, I, I, I mean, oh. honestly, these girls are above me as well. They, I, they would not give me the time of day anytime. So as you can see, I, I got some of these. And, and this is another gotcha you can get. You can unlock special weapons. This can be pretty difficult. So you can see 15, 75, 150. So um, it's cheaper to go this route. And so I assume if you've already gotten the characters you want, and you can buy, as you can see, gems there. But they're kind of expensive. But you never really have to do any of that stuff. But, but, really but no... when, you glance at, when you glance at the store, like what, what were like the like the uh, real life money conversions like? Like how much it's, money? Do you think it you was like a jet? dollar for like five, and then you can go up to like two fifty for like five or ten bucks. It really there's really no point in touching that stuff unless you really need it. Um, <laughs> so you, now Some people I'm, really need it. <laughs> yeah, I I never did. Uh, I, just because like as you saw in the story, it's about maybe twenty four chapters in. And there, like I said, there's nearly like 50, and I'm getting like six per one of those challenge, like one of those battles, and so it's it's it takes no time at all. 
and there's like these special events here, which is another way to increase your affection with the girl. But they're all voiced. And she's upset about something, and I don't know what. Maybe you know what's going on, and I don't. When did you start playing this? I only started playing this maybe around, like, um, October. November, I think, or something like that. Um, no, it was definitely October, now that I remember. Would you say that it's your favorite of uh, all the MOBA games that you've played? It is, because once again, it's super um, accessible. You don't need to know any Japanese at all to understand what's going on and to get to navigate through the different uh, uh, menus and uh, participate in the combat and stuff like that. So anybody who's never played uh, a Japanese game before, and but at least has some sense of awareness, some sense of knowledge of what's going on around them without even having to read anything, can enjoy this. And especially anyone who likes anime, just because of hearing these uh, familiar voices, if you like to watch a lot of Japanese dubbed anime with, you know, even if it's English subbed, you can right. kind of uh, understand them. And the acting can be really good. Like, some of the stories, can, you can understand, it can get pretty emotional, even if you may not understand what exactly is happening. So, um, but for the most part, uh, you know, it, it's been really fun, and um, there's so much, so much going on here, and I think that's what's been the most appropriate. And here you can actually, Wait, well, <laughs> so you can see, you, you can pat their head, and that gets you like a hundred affection, or a hundred of, of points towards their affection. And Just so, what every high school girl wants. Yes, petting them is the greatness. I mean, some games like to keep the petting mechanics in uh, without losing them, so... <laughs> You can probably recognize her voice. I can't, I can't remember the name off the top of I mean, uh, she's been in ton of anime like or or Noamoto and all this other stuff. Oh, is that Sayori Hiyami? Yes. Okay. That's a, <laughs> that, was, that, that, that was my gut feeling. I was, I all instantly right. recognized her voice and looked up. I was like, really? Oh yeah, they've got a ton of like these famous actors. Like I said, they spent a lot of money in making this game, I'm sure. And so, yeah, you can change the menu. They're all, like, handing out. But this is, you know, this is Battle Girl High School. You know, I had a lot of fun with it, like I said. It's, it's been a lot of fun. And there's a lot more to this game. And they continue to add new stuff. They've add, they're adding new students soon. I've already gotten all the students here. But, yeah, that's pretty is it much it. iOS and Android? Yes, iOS and Android for free to play, once again. So pick it up when you can. Fantastic. I love anime, so why not, I guess? Why not? Thanks a lot, Josh. Thank you, Zach.